final bit of this season is going to decide if we make playoffs or not. Great, good, good start. Great start before the bye. And then four straight losses. Bang, 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 bang. Offense has just looked stagnant, stale, not ready. I'm either playing against the Browns or against the Ravens with our offense, if play edge. And again, we have the same thing under Siege. We just had the situation last week. What do you think is going to be different this week against Max Crosby with a left tackle we just signed basically off the street? Derek Carr doesn't really scare me that much. I'll defend the short pass, force him to attack downfield. Looks like he hasn't really been playing well. And we're going to just change it. We're just going to run inside. Run inside. Take advantage of the squishy uh, D-line and linebacking group that they have in Las Vegas. And we're going to allow two or less passing touchdowns as our goal. Get this training started. I forgot to check reps. I need to see why our guys are so damn tired. Fatigue looks fine, though. Like, it all looks fine. All right, let's see it. Beat the Raiders. 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 Come on! Well, now we're 8-7, and seven, and we're the 7th seed. So we might just, like, waltz right out of the playoffs. Wait, the, Ra the Raiders have to be in the playoffs now. Yeah, the Raiders took our spot as the 6th seed, and now we're the 7th seed. We're under siege. Let's see. How did it go? Did we not get sacked a bunch? I think we got sacked. Okay, never mind. As, okay, well, you know what? We'll have better pass protection. A little better pass protection, but we still lost. So, you know what? We'll do the offense this week against Baltimore. Defend the outside run. Sure. Defensively, run the damn ball. We're going to be boring. We're doing half pad practices. Like, we're trying to be as... As energetic and uh, refreshed as we can be as an offense and as a team but it just ain't working out that way no injuries so like let's get to it the hope of the division basically gone now I think Bengals need to lose out. And the Ra ba Bengals and Ravens need to lose out. That's how we're going to win the division. That's the one and only way. Get deep threat with Pickens. Like, I don't know what about him makes him a slot receiver. He's a great outside guy. Great with contested catches. You know, we're just going to feed up great points to our players right now. Get Benny Snell to 74. Get Robert Spillane to a 71. I think it was scheme fit. Why not? Good upgrade right there. And let's just... Let's play the Ravens. Full offense. Let's hope for better results than last time. There we go. We start the game on offense. Game plan, run the ball inside. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Do that. Build off a of play action. And use that to formulate our offensive approach. As Harris bounces it back right. Goes up. Gets three. Just under 1,200 yards on the season so far. With 13 rushing touchdowns. And I'm going to... We have a plan. I'm going to stick to that plan. And see how it goes. And just because we need to change something here. Don't be holding. Don't be holding. It's holding. Because of course it's holding. Now it's 
second and 14. We got a slant to Johnson. And he gets that first down. Brushing off the tackle. Make sure, make sure that he gets that yardage. And now we're coming right back to the ground game with Anaji Harris right up the middle. For two. And Michael Pierce is hurt. We're going to try a deep shot. Why not? Come back. Climb the pocket. To Johnson. That's big. Oh, lucky. Johnson makes the tackle, though. Hopefully, Ruffin. Aha, Ruffin the passer bails us out. Ruffin the passer bails us out. And that pick never happened. Oh, hey now, hey now. Jeez. All right, blitz off the edge with the safety. Why don't you? Okay. Oh, Harris breaks the tackle, brushes off another defender, gets that first down. If you're a first round pick or running back, you better be doing that. And uh, Harris gets that first down for us. Looking to try to get right here before we hit the playoffs. Truck a man, truck another man. Hey, Detroit is 1 in 14. And the Bears are in like a prime playoff position. What? Up, go, Harris. Power running. Drawn back. Tight coverage right there. Maybe a questionable decision. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somehow, we don't lose yards, but they still get the sack. Oh, come on, Pickett. Get it to Gentry. That was a touchdown if you got it. So, uh, the Ravens are blending in with their end zone, so I thought there was a safety, and then I realized there wasn't, and then I realized, you know what, let's throw it. But we get the field going. We got a three-point lead now. Defense? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it in anything. Come on, defense. Come on. Yes. Turnover. Turnover. Maybe. Yes. No. Maybe. Yeah. Turnover from the defense. And just like that, we're back on offense. Harris running inside for three. Now running counter. Right up the middle, Harris brings it to a third and three. Going to put the ball in the air here. Dropping. Tucks it. Runs. Gets hit. Fumbles. Crap. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Dodson with the hustle. Diving play to save the ball. Note to self, let's just slide next time. Why make things so much harder than you need to be? Claypool in the end zone! Comes down with the football. And six points. As Pickett off the play fake. Takes a shot to Claypool. And he brings it in for the score. Stands in the pocket. Gets, I don't know if he got hit, but there are two defenders running right at him. Beautiful spiral to Claypool. High points the ball. And gets the score. And defense forces another punt and to close out the first quarter we're just gonna follow the game plan follow the game plan give it to Harris right up the middle get six second and four play fake pressure Harris open gets that first down first and ten handing it off to Harris good block good blocking there Gets seven. Now third and three. Could we see Deontay Johnson screaming open for a touchdown? He screams up the seam for a big gain to the 38. And pick it. Play fakes. And rolling and running. Harris gets that block. Pick it runs for the first down. Setting us up at the 27. Look at him move. Gets that block from Harris, tucks it, steps out of bounds. 
Avoids the hit. Avoids fumbling. And we got a fresh set of downs to boot. Now we're turning and giving it to Harris. Up the middle through a crowd of people for five. Second and five. Rolling. Nothing's happening there. No good is coming from that. So we just chuck it away, live to fight another day. Oh, yeah. Go, Chase! No! Oh, that was so close. Marlon Humphrey with the breakup. Against Chase Claypool. Boswell lines up, boots it in. Let's make it 13 to nothing. And Baltimore answers with a touchdown of their own. Maybe a six point game. We're drawing back. Quick throw to Harris, loses a yard. Ooh, this could be covered too, which would be kind of nice. Go, Johnson. Jump up. Uh. Pick it, dropping back. Diving for the first down! And he held on to the ball. That was that was the major thing. Dole for the first down, got it. Kept the football. Did not turn it over. And wow, okay, really crashing in there. Stop the run. Harris gets two, averaging over five yards a carry right now. So we line up on second and eight. Giving it to Harris again. Shedding blocks almost instantly. Dropping back. Not much to be had there. Not much to be had there. We got a punt. Ooh. There we go. Fair caught it. Let's let's see your defense stop him again. Never mind. They don't. Drop him back. Come on, offensive line. Supposed to have better pass blocking now. Where is it? Stand up in the pocket. Strike to Frymuth. First down to the 43. Call the timeout. Want to try to get at least a field goal. Might be the best we can hope for. As we get that play fake. Johnson! Not great communication on the comeback. Pickett throws an interception to close up the first half. And then Baltimore gets the ball to start the second half. And they drive down and score. Now we're down two touchdowns. No, no, still one. Now we're down eight points instead of one point. Harris trying to bounce it back inside. Only gets three. Second and seven. Quick throw to Harris on the flat route. Trucks over the first tackler. Making it a third and short. Bringing in the big fullback, Derek Watt. The motion over, Gentry. Drawing the defense over, turning, giving it to Harris. Who doesn't have the first. They stop him. We're going right back to him on fourth and inches, and he gets that first down. That's for damn sure. They are really crowding this box here. Quick throw to Claypool on the RPO. Gets broken up. Run back. Come on! Every time that happens, I look at a tackle, and they are just somewhere else. They're just out of the play. Gone. Nowhere to be seen. Johnson torches him. Gets the catch. Go, Johnson. Go, Johnson. Go, Johnson. Go. Go. Run away from him. There we go, Johnson. That's exactly what we need. Deontay Johnson dusts his man off the line. Gets the catch, and he's off to the races, and he's just running. It's about top speed of 20.5 miles an hour. 
and gets in for the score. We get the two-point conversion, so now it's a tied game. Not much to be out of there. Slant flat. Natural pick. Johnson gets the first down. First and ten, handing it off to Harris. Gets absolutely swarmed after getting the ball. Able to get to? Harris going left side. Gets two. Oh, under pressure, slots it into Claypool. Takes it away from, is that Kyle Hamilton? It is. For the first down, I thought that was going to be a pick. But hey, Claypool did it, made it right. Harris trying to fight through, only gets one. Looks like Baltimore did some adjusting at the half to prepare for this ground attack. Oh, that would have been. What could have been? What could have been to good old Patty Frymuth? Safety coming down. Backing up again. Curl to Pickens. Makes it fourth and three. We're gonna we're going for the 52-yard field goal. Wind at the back of Chris Boswell. Boot is up. Boot is good. Let's take the lead late in the third quarter. Boot. Oh, look, is that a pancake on field goal? That's hilarious. And defense holds strong. Three and out it looks like for the Ravens. As we're going to finish out the third quarter with the ball. Giving it to Harris just right up the middle. Gets three. Giving the ball to Harris. Runs it up inside. Bringing defenders with him, makes it third and short. Baltimore with the number four ranked rushing defense going into this game. And we are establishing the run very well. Handing it off to Harris right up the middle inside. Bounces it left for the first. Oh, hey now, that's uh, quite the runaround pursuit by number 50. Oh, hey now. Come on, Johnson. There we go. Second ranked defense? Okay. Uh, we do not care. Johnson over 130 yards on the day. Going back to Harris inside. Boom. To the Baltimore 47. Harris has been doing well with volume. Not so much efficiency. But you get the job done, you get the job done here. Jaguars absolutely torching the Texans. And we get a man in the backfield. We've run 50 plays. Majority of them have been running plays. But we're still taking our shots through the air. Didn't quite have the arm strength to get it through that window to Johnson after he beat his man off the line. That's where the low throw power becomes not a concern but a worry. We hit Claypool outside for the deep shot. On third and 11, gets it down to the Baltimore five. Why are they so backed up? Why are they so backed up? Run, run and get it, run and get it, run and get it, run and get it. I don't know what that alignment was. You had safeties like at the back line of the end zone. You just gifted a touchdown. Looks like we may have stopped them on fourth down. Not popping up that we got a turnover. We got great field position here. And all we got to do is now run out the rest of the clock. As Harris gets a decent four. Total yards is close. But the rushing yards is no comparison. 133. Not even close. Okay now. Trying to run up the middle. Pocket closes. Gets pushed back. Pierce gets a sack. As it's now third and nine. Press coverage on the outside. Firing deep to Pickens. George Pickens, second or third catch of the day. 32 yard touchdown. 
And doing the dance in the end zone. Claypool getting in there as well. Pickett dropping back. Layers it between the safeties behind the defensive back. Perfect pass for the touchdown. And we've extended our lead so much. Quick three, four and out. And looks like we have a commanding lead of this game, which is good. Harris bounces around, finds the hole to get eight. The left tackle, he's lined off the street, is now hurt. He was playing very well. May have allowed a sack. Whatever about that. Harris runs up the middle, imposes his will to get that first down to the six. And we got a torn labrum, son of a nutcracker. Now we're going to full chew the clock mode. Under center, turn and giving it to Harris. Gets back to the line. We are gonna have to run a play before the two minute warning. Going right side with the power look to Harris, bounces it back to the end zone for the six yard touchdown run from Harris. Have yourself a day. Bounces it back, cuts up the middle, fights through the tacklers to get in. And we hold the Ravens to without a score again. Defense clutching up big time. And you love to see it. Turning, giving it to Harris, met in the backfield. Gets forward, they're not gonna use their timeout, and we're gonna walk out of Baltimore with a huge win to help our playoff chances. There you go, Tomlin's happy, Pickett's happy. Get the win against the division rival Ravens. And Jackson played a great game. We just played better, stopped him in fourth down, got a key turnover, and really just fourth quarter could not be matched. Over 300 passing yards, but just over 50 rushing yards. Our defense had a lot of pressure. Solid performance all around. Taking a look at the stats here. Pickett, 15 of 26, 286, three touchdowns, one interception, 11 yards per attempt. Harris on the ground, 31 carries, 121 yards, 120 yards, two touchdowns. Pickett, 36 on the ground himself. Johnson, five for 131 and a touchdown. Harris, four for 19. Claypool, three for 72 and a touchdown. Pickens, two for 38 and a touchdown. Frymuth, one for 26. We allowed four sacks. And our left tackle's hurt. Tackle leader was Cameron Hayward with seven. TFL is two for Watt, two for Alu Alu. Did not mean to go to the Ravens there. One for Sun, one for Hayward. Sacks, two for Hayward, two for Watt, one for Highsmith, and a pick from Levi Wallace. Playoff grades, we're gonna give one to Witherspoon. We're gonna throw this into zone, actually. Just because we call a lot of zone coverage on defense, not a ton of man. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get to calling more man coverage later. And then big win. Let's see how bad the injury is. And he's out for four weeks. So it looks like we got to roll with Trent Scott. As unfortunate as that may be, we climb to nine and seven. As we move forward to week 17. Look at the playoff picture. We are now the sixth seed. Bengals still atop of the division. There's a world where we make it. We beat the Browns and the Bengals and Ravens lose. There's a world in which we make the playoffs. But I don't think that's in the cards. Because we go down. The Ravens and the Bengals play each other. So we're not winning the division. There might be a scenario where we miss the playoffs. So we're going to keep our starters in. Let them play against the Browns. And we lose 27 to 17 against the Browns. But we're in the playoffs and we are still the sixth seed. Jags take the seventh seed. Bills number one. Take a look at the bracket here. 
Panthers are the two seed in the NFC. Big AFC North presence in the playoffs here. And for the playoffs, play the moments, nine moments, three drives. See if we can go on a bit of a run here. Playing against the defending AFC champions. Going to take a look at the yearly stats. Pick it over. 4,300 yards, 27 touchdowns, 13 picks, 92 passer rating. That's all right. I'll take it. He got sacked 43 times. God damn. That's a lot of sacks. Harris just under 1,400 yards, 17 rushing touchdowns, one fumble. Pickett just under 200 yards and a touchdown. Benny Snell had four touchdowns. Jalen Warren had one. Might want to even out that split a bit. 2,000-yard receivers. First one, Deontay Johnson, just over 1,200 with seven touchdowns. George Pickens, 1,004. Claypool, just under 906. Frymuth, 709 touchdowns. And then no one else caught a touch. Oh, no, Benny Snell found a way to catch a touchdown. Blocking 15 sacks left from a core for 12 from Dan Moore. Yikes. Defensively, lean tackler, Miles Jack, 139. TFL leader, going to be Cam Hayward with 20 TFLs. Sack leader is also Hayward with 11 and a half, 8 from Highsmith, 7 from Watt. Bit of a down year for him after the sack record last season. Six picks for Witherspoon. That might lead the league. Four for Wallace, two for Jack, two for Sutton, one from Bush. Kicking was kind of rough from Boswell. Didn't miss an extra point, but missed seven field goals. One being blocked, all fair, all the one being blocked. Harvin averaged nearly 50 yards a punt, net average of 45 and a half yards. Six in the 20, eight touchbacks, longest punt of 71. Only played 44 downs. Kick return, nothing special here. Probably going to move forward with Calvin Austin being that guy. Nothing too special there. Punt returning. Nothing special. Again, Austin's going to be that guy going forward. Solid performance. Next, going to be the playoffs. Probably going to do individual games. See how that goes. And it's... Not looking forward to playing the Bengals. And their number two ranked scoring offense. That's going to be a handful.